Oh shit. <coughs> it's mini prime time with your host, Will Friedle. Our special guest tonight, Travis Willingham. Tonight's episode of Mini Prime Time is brought to you by Void Tech Industries, the one-stop shop for all your cyber eldritch needs. And now, let's get down to brushing. <laughs> so much. Welcome to Mini Primetime. I'm your host, Will Friedle, and tonight we're going to do some battle damage techniques. But first, I'd like to introduce you to a very dear old friend of mine, Mr. Travin Bibbleham. Hey! Thank you so much hey. for coming, Travin. I'm so happy to have Tra you here. Uh, Travis. Travis. Yes, Travis. 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 Yeah. Travis, we're excited to have you. We've been talking about you in our offices for a little while, and now you are here. So... I don't even know where to start. I actually yeah. do, because I got some questions for you. You got gonna the be, cards. I'm going to be honest. Some are from me, some are from our audience, but we want to get everything from you out here. There okay? is an audience for this show. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There is. So, first question I think is on everybody's lips. What was it like to be in Mr. Mom? Uh, Mr. I think you have me confused with uh, another critical role cast member. I think that question is meant for Talis and Jaffe. I don't, that sounds like a thing. To me, not a person, but we'll we'll get. So you're not gonna you're not gonna answer. Stonewalled, boom! Stonewalled from the actor. It happens. That's all right. No problem. Mm. I get that. Mm -hmm. I do know though that you are a big sports guy. I am. Ah, so I know that. So uh, long time and vocal Eagles fan. So I would like to know. Ooh. Give me the top five <laughs> Eagles place kickers of all time. Where are you going? E A G L E S. Come on. Wow. Who you got on yeah, your wall? No. So it's actually the the Dallas Cowboys are my team. I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Actually, really, really fierce rivals of the Eagles. Really? So, yeah. That's it. That's it. Because I heard huge Eagles fan. That's what your Wikipedia no, 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 page no, says. Not, not at all. Everything else not, like it's not. die hard. Grew mm -hmm. up on the sheets. All that kind of stuff. Am I? No. All right. Well, that's yeah. 0 for two with what you're going to answer. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I am going to bring it down a little right now, though. I'm going to get a little serious on you. We have a uh, question from a young uh, viewer. His name is Greg Sipingson. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> and he is from Dubuque. He says, Nathaniel Hawthorne famously said, no man for any considerable period can wear one face to himself and another to the multitude without finally getting bewildered as to which may be true. So my question is this, camels, what's up with the humps? Yes, the humps are weird. How does that apply to the quote from Hawthorne? How doesn't it? The faces seven? in the multitude. I almost need the question repeated again. Oh. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Let's get to it, though. You are on the character role, which is a great show. It Everybody is loves it. The cr critical role. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, sorry, I had you, a little. That's time, right. Yeah. You play Big Green. You play Jahord, because the <laughs> F is, I heard, silent. You guys do the D&D &D thing. What is he like? Walk us through him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ford. <laughs> oh, you, you pronounce it? Yes. Fjord, yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah, Ford is a half-orc, a hexblade warlock, hmm. um, and has uh, recently revoked his his pact weapon with Ukatoa, who's a, a giant, like, demigod snake creature. Is any of that, is any of that tracking? What? Yes, it is. I've been a big Jord fan since the show started. I just, love watching yeah, it. Uh, just, just Ford. Ford. Almost like the trucks, like okay. Ford, like Ford tough. Ford. Yeah. Truly one of the greatest characters of the Mighty Nine. So, you ready to paint? Yeah. Our lesson today is how to create realistic looking battle damage. Now our master mini painter, Ian Phillips of Iron Tusk Painting has already primed our mini in white and painted the face and most of the armor, but has left the chest piece open for us to play with. If you want to see everything Ian used for Fjord, visit critroll.com. Ford. <coughs> Ford. For today's lesson, we'll be using a couple of your favorite shades of brown, like a reddish, rusty brown, a dark brown, and we're also gonna use a white to desaturate as needed, and a black to darken your brown tones. We'll also have a wash to finish the piece off, which is nice. So, are you ready, Trazzle Dazzle? 
Ready as I'll ever busy. You can get street here, baby. Okay, yeah. So here we go, battle damage. Mm -hmm. This is actually a ton of fun to do. So, we got our minis, correct? Yes, we do. And now we've got the chest plate open, but we've also got a number of different ways of doing battle damage. Okay. So there's either just using paint, or there's actually going in, and I'm gonna do a technique where I'm actually gonna do a little bit of damage to the mini. Not to you, my friend. Although, if I don't get a Mr. Mom story by the end, arr, what I'm gonna do is take off a little bit of his battle damaged armor. So we know he's got famously has the scar on his face. Yep. We're gonna match the scar. I'll just show you really quickly. So if the scar comes this way, like this, uh -huh. say then that the sword or axe that hit him came in from this direction. Oh man, you're just going right in there. You do, you got it. And you take just the tiniest little chunk, you try to avoid the face. Oh man. And you just beat up the mini, just the littlest bit back and forth. Did they give you high marks at medical school for that sort of surgery? I actually didn't graduate medical school. People That's... don't realize that. I did a little bit, but obstetrics through me. So see, now I literally have a little bit of battle damage right there that I put on. Yeah. There's also one you can notice, this is a good pointer. Uh, that is cast in the mini, so yes. we can highlight that as well. But our first stage is going to be to just paint our chest piece. Okay. And now we've got our browns right here, we've got our wash here, which will be for later. I would recommend the bigger brush to start with, because we have more to cover, and then we will slowly go down in size when we start to detail. Again, you can do whatever you like, but yep. I like to start with a darker color, because then when you put the lighter colors on, it really makes things pop. I dig it, I'm, so, I'm all about it. We shake our paints first, and we try to do it in a creepy way while staring at the guest. I'll just look up and to the right. You're thinking about me though, aren't you? No. You can't get me out of your head. I know what it's like. So here we go. We're gonna do a little here. And again, since we have the black on the table, if this isn't dark enough for you, we can always make it darker. But frankly, I think this is kind of a good place to start. Yeah, that's a good start. And remember, and this is, this is a, a, a nice thing to know, you can't screw it up. You really can't screw it up. Well, or that's... what we can do is we will take a screw up and we will turn it into battle damage, which is what we're learning. That's actually a great relief to hear. So there you go. Take off some excess if you want to. You paint it on your finger first. I always do. I put on too much paint on purpose and then I take a little bit of it off and then I go right to the middle. That's just my thing. No. You don't have to do that. Cowboys fans would never do that. No. Well, there's a lot of things Cowboys fans don't do, like win the Super Bowl. So how long have you been doing the, the painting of the minis? It's been a couple years now. Honed your mad no, skills? No, my skills have gotten no better than when I started, but. Look how smooth you are though. It's like, it's no, bothersome. That's different, my friend. There's not enough O's and smooth for me. Are you wearing cologne? Uh, it's not mine. I actually found it in the bathroom. I don't, I don't think that was cologne, but. Okay. Okay, yep. It's funny you mention that because it both itches and burns. Yeah, yeah. How are you coming? I'm good. I've, I've got I've got the back down. Okay. I got the chest down. I'm moving to the I'm moving to the shoulder region. Nice, nice, nice. Now we can hit. We can do everything one color, which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go back in and we'll highlight with another little color, and then we'll put on the old BD. We were talking about the old battle damage, which I've been told by George takes <laughs> some damage here or there. Yeah, he he does. He is not quite as uh, battle proof as one of my previous characters was, Grog. Really. I loved Greg. Greg was one of my favorites. Greg, yeah, Greg Strongjaw was Grog. Bitch. Grog, he had almost uh, 300 hit points there near That's the end. That's crazy. Yep. And two PhDs, if I watch the show correctly. Two. <sighs> Yeah. Well, I talked to somebody else from the um, the chemical peel. Critical and, role. And the thing that I said to them was, while I have not watched season two, uh -huh. I blocked out next Saturday night. I'm binging the entire series. I, f I think you're gonna love it. I got three need... hours. I got some popcorn. I am ready to roll, as yeah. it were. Well, I, I can't wait to have that hippie look me and just look me uh, right at the end and go. Where do you want to chew this? That hippie? I just love that. You know that 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 hippie uh, is a is a guy named Matthew Mercer. I don't know if you've had him on your. What is this show called? This is called Mini Prime Time with Will Friedle. Mini. Prime Time. He would be a good person to have on here. He himself is a quite accomplished mini painter. What do you think? Let me see your guy. Let's go. Let's go back to back. You've gotten the whole thing there. 
But oh, your game looks great, though. Yeah, right. We're doing. Yeah, and we're see doing the good. different. You got the good difference between the darker brown and the lighter brown, and we can bring the lighter brown back up top. That's good. How long have you been playing the uh, Danger of Dragons? Since I think like 2013 was really? the first time that we played. So this is kind of a new venture for you. Yeah, I didn't actually know what to expect getting into it, but um, that hippie is a fantastic storyteller and really paints one immersive picture for us to play in. I have to admit, he seemed like a guy who might know a thing or two about the telling of a story. Yep. Um, I don't trust him. Good well, storyteller. Why, uh, why, why? Uh, there was six dollars missing from my pocket after he left. I'm not saying it was his, but so he it, hugged me and then I couldn't get a cab. It That's was how it worked. It was six, six dollars? Yeah. I always carry six dollars with me. In singles or like a five and a one-er? Uh, no, I actually, I carry three twos. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me for some reason. I think I'm there, man. You think you're there? Let me oh, see. I think you are there. I think that looks great. I think we might be ready for some battle damage. Frankly. I think so. So first of all, I'm gonna take a little bit of, of almost black with a little bit of the brown that we is have. Is there a color called almost black? There is, actually. Uh, it's called almost black. And I'm gonna try to hit the area where I had that battle damage where I did it myself. Oh, the gouge? And there's not much of a gouge. I could have gouged it more, but I didn't want to go crazy pants. I, I appreciate you respecting the effigy of... Well, uh, in a, <laughs> Jord is an important character. And so for that big slash across the chest, right. I go dark and then light, or just light? Uh, you can do either, frankly. you can. One of the things that you can do is you can do kind of a bigger slash in mm -hmm. dark, and then if mm -hmm. you want right kind of underneath that, do a nice lighter slash that's thinner, and it'll, it'll here, let's go wild. You want to do that? Yeah, we can go, go wild, go we can almost, go crazy. I'm do a little it's almost like, black. Yeah, like being up to nine o'clock at night, you know, turning off the second episode of Golden Girls and just cranking some tunes. That is so strange. It's, uh, it's not. It's a wonderful way to spend okay. a Saturday. Yeah. I keep meaning to yeah. like watch an episode, but I've just never, never. You've never, you've never seen Golden Girls. Yes. It's a mm. wonderful show. It's a show, show about life. Well, this interview's going well. How much time do we have left? That's a lot of time left, okay. Does blowing, is that frowned upon in mini painting? It depends on what you're asking. Just blowing just, on the mini to, to dry, dry it? The paint. No, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I wouldn't make the face when you're doing it, but Well, I just figured if part of the connectivity thing was like staring at the host while you do it. No, I stare at you. This is mine. That's just weird. But now I can't look away. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't spit on it though, then it doesn't oh, get as dry. Spittle, so. spittle doesn't spittle help. Spittle doesn't help too much. There we go. I ran out of air. I saw that. So, boom. I just put a little bit of black there, and then I'm going to go straight from the black. I'm going to go with a lighter color this time, and I am going to use an insanely, insanely thin, like. The little guy. Yeah. That's even not the smallest one you can find. You want to see the smallest one? Yeah. Look at, this. Look at that. Isn't that ridiculous? That is Ridiculous. remarkable. This cost me three hundred dollars, <laughs> right? Yep. Unbelievable. What happens if you lose it? That happened twice. So <laughs> I don't even start with me. This see, is amazing. So I keep it here. See why? So now I can grab it whenever I need to. Because if I don't know where it is, I freak out. Yeah. <laughs> All yep. right. Battle damage. I'm ready. Here we go. I'm going in. I'm gonna do a little here. I'm gonna add some white. Nice. Probably should have gone the other way. Either one works. Down. I'm almost going to edge it right where that little slice was. I think I waited so long to paint the battle damage and dry. That can happen. That can happen. That's one of the reasons that you dab. You dab and go right to the right yep. to the mini. Just right jump in, right? Mini. Yep. Now, I know we don't have to do this. But oh! Oh, is that a, a bad I'm okay, one? I'm okay, I'm okay. You good? You good? It was just, uh, yeah, it was a bigger streak than I meant for it to be. That's okay. If you want. Now, wait, let me see your big streak. Oh! Let me see your big streak. It's just not, it's not as finesse. Th this one? Yeah, that, that big, yeah, that big okay, one. Okay, so what you're gonna do, this will be really cool. What you're gonna do is right underneath the line you just made, uh -huh. take almost straight black, okay. and just do a little line right underneath that one. My God. 
underneath, underneath that if line. You catch a little bit. Don't go through thinness. it, but just go right underneath that line. And watch you what happens. You give my dexterity more credit than I it deserves. I don't believe that that is true. I don't believe it. Okay, I almost black. Do. Almost black. You can go black, and you can even do it in one move. Just one, right underneath. Do I make the sound too? You can. It okay. helps. All right, one, two, three. Oh. That felt good. Does it look good? It did look pretty good. See, and it makes it look different, doesn't it? Bam. I'm gonna put a little wood, one, two, in on the three. bracers. Oh, oh God, I covered it up. No, it didn't, it made, it made it better. I See? can't tell. See? It made, it made it really fine. I like it, I'm happy. Use your fingers if you want. I'm gonna put a tiniest little bit of black right on his bracers, and then I'm gonna smudge it with, with my finger. Yep. Oh. And then look what happens on the bracer. Like, bam, it just looks like a little Damn. dirty and. It's all grimy now. Grimy and nasty. Have you watched uh, any of the newest campaign of um, Critical Role? I have not. I have not. But I told you, I, I, I put the three hours on Saturday. I'm going to be. I'm gonna yep. Beep, and I'm going to watch it. Okay. And I'm going to be happy to see the Mighty Neeners doing their thing. Yep. And you know so, who my favorite uh, actor is on that show? Laura Laura Bailey. She's a like renowned video game actress. I think we had Lisa on the show, I, if memory serves. I do. Lisa was on the show. The She's a party girl. Lisa is a is a party. She was party telling girl. us about doing up the town and living the single life. It I, gave me hope to think that this might someday be ching 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 ching. Uh, so I'm actually married to Le to Laura. Uh I'm, that's, that's no, my. No, she is single. You know who's married to, to, to Laura is um, everybody else. It, everybody else is married mm -hmm. to, to Laura? According to them. I don't feel like anybody else would claim that they were married if to you, Laura. If you get a chance to, to, to be with. I'm with, painting, with, don't touch okay, my Okay, but arm, if you get a chance to hang out with Linda, let me tell you something. Yep. Two words. Yes. Her Gary Sinise impression. It's. Kind of what she's known for, ridiculous. Just in general, Gary Sinise, or a just specific say if you see her. No, if you see her, no, no, no. I don't, you, Green don't, Mile. Don't shackle her. Don't well, shackle I just her. Just want to give options because like, she is. Uh, she's Gary Sinise wasn't in the Green Mile, was he? Yeah. No, he wasn't. Yeah, sure he was. No, he wasn't. You're now thinking it through, and you know that he wasn't, right? Gary Sinise? He was not in the Green Mile. Yeah, no. he was there. You're confusing him with Apollo 13, Gary Sinise. I'm pretty sure he's there. He's not. He is. He's not. Yes. Oh, wait. Yes, he is. <laughs> he has one oh, scene oh, in the very he's beginning not, he's on not. the porch. That's where he is. He's got one scene <laughs> on right. the porch in the oh beginning. Oh, my God. In a way, we were both right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, I remember <laughs> him talking the to the Green Mile. Tom Hanks yep. in the Green Mile. Yep. Well, I don't know about you, but this has been one heck of a lesson. Now, if all of the, the tissue of Ford's fallen victim starts manifesting in these razors, um, do you, can you put like flesh highlights in this? I don't understand the question. Yeah, like. So, yes, with flesh highlights, okay. but I don't know why Lincoln would want anything to happen to him. The president Lincoln? He said it was named after a car. See, boom, like, see, look what I did down there. Boom. A little bit. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Nice. Nice. Love that. Ooh, this is a perfect time for my little brush. See? See, look what that one does. See how it feathers it? That's why this is worth the cash. Do I say yes? Uh, uh, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. You like you know, where you are? Yeah, I, I ordered on uh, Amazon Prime one of those brushes, so I think I'm just gonna, is it in? Oh, thanks. Did they deliver it already? Yeah. But it's the, it's the Mac. Oh, Mac whoa, version. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. This isn't right. Yeah. Oh! I got it. Don't move. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, thank God. Got it right here. Yeah, it's right here. And this is wrong, so how oh. you spent on this? There you okay. go. You happy? Yes. You can put that down. You don't have to hold the brush okay. the entire time. It looks weird. There you go. We've got one more really cool thing to do. We are gonna do a little wash now. Mm -hmm. And the wash is gonna make you go, what's up? 
Oh, good. Check it out. But when you put it on, it's yep. going to add a little dirt effect, a little grime effect. It's going to get into all the nooks and crannies. Oh. And it's going to make it look really, really cool. Okay, cool. So I'm going to still stick with a smaller brush, but I'm going to put more on. Okay. And then like, well, look what happens if I go over. Whoa, so you're like liberally just, applying. Yeah, you want to do that. And then go over kind of exactly what you did. Okay. Like we're destroying all the good work we've done. You're not, because you're going to see when it dries. Like, see how the white that I just did? See how that yep. pops through? Kind of like, you know, brushing his, brushing his little teeth, right? Like, here, open your, open your mouth as I brush your little, brush your little armor teeth. Make sure you get your molars and your, and your canines. We don't want to get any cavities on your, on your, it is just like that. On your armor. Well, I'm glad we are coming to an end of this painting lesson. He's a pretty cool character, though. Right? I like him. Man, that really looks good. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom, you picked everything up, and you went from there. Right? Look at that. And there's our lesson, boys and girls. I, Are you happy with how it looks? I am. Do I get to keep this? No, I don't actually own any of these. We rent these from Mini House. Oh. Um, but it's, it's fine. We have to actually paint them all white again at the end of the day and send them back. It's that cool. seems like such a waste. Yeah. Why would you do that? It's tough, because we can't afford to buy them. Oh. They're like six bucks each, and I, again, lost once Mercer Hugged Me was down six bucks. It's okay. He's running around right now with six dollars worth of bracelets. I'm good, what do you think? <laughs> Six dollars worth of bracelets. <laughs> you happy? He does have a lot of bracelets. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe <laughs> he needed to add to them. He must have. That's just the way it works. <laughs> but nature of the business. Yep. Well, Trevor Wilbraham, so happy to have you here. I've been waiting for this forever. Thank you so much. Please come back again. We've had an amazing time and a great show. Thank you so much. Well, today we learned how to create realistic battle damage through a variety of methods, such as using paints, either lighter or darker than your base color, to give the illusion of damage. Next week, we'll have Rosario Dawson, or something, or somebody, uh, Molly Muck, whatever, so sleepy. If you want to paint Fjord and any of the Mighty Nine for our mini sets, the Magic Hand will come and help you buy them from Steam Forge or the Crit Roll Shop, or wherever Steam Forge minis are sold, so stay colorful. And don't ever forget, it's not the size of your mini. It's how you paint it that matters. Good night, everybody. Should I just... Uh... Okay. I'm just... <laughs>